Greetings, Earthlings! My name is Zero Jake, and welcome back to Avorion. Uh, so, today we are going to be creating a fighter, or more of a uh, attacking corvette, something along that line. Um, so, you know, prepare yourselves. Uh, then you can't enter my drone. Found the ship first. Yes, 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 yes. I found, I found the ship first. Just hold on. Just, just shush. Uh, right, we're going. We're going to need a name. We're going to need a name. We're going to need a name. Uh, I'll just go with Dave. No, 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 not Dave. No, Dave is a stupid one, isn't it? No. Uh, let's just call it Zeus. Uh, you know, it's spelled properly. Zeus. There we go. Uh, well, actually, first of all, before we do that. Interact, transfer crew and cargo. Uh, yeah, because I I need to borrow some engineers really. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Anyway, we should be fine for now. Uh, so what we're going to do is first of all we want to. Why is that a two by two? I want it reduced, please. I guess I can't do that from here, right? Um, no, I can't. Lovely. Well, I guess I can place a hull here. Delete this one. Oh, boo-hoo. Safe mode's engaged. No. And then I want a smaller one. And I want it out of... Trinium. So we're building a combat ship. Yeah. Building a combat ship. How frightening is that? Uh, and the reason why we need a combat ship is because we're going to do some combat. Yeah. So that we can eventually, uh, after a bit be able to take out uh, Botan the Smuggler um, and, you know, Captain Pirate Squawks and all those kinds of people. Uh, but first, we need to actually build one that's actually functional. Uh, so first of all, we're going to need a crew quarters. How much would I give us? Five. Yeah, that will do. So uh, this crew quarters section is going to be the center of our little, uh, you know, lovely ship. Uh, and I've got a plan. Okay, we're going to have two shields here and a shield here. It will look somewhat like a TIE fighter. Uh, we will then delete it and then increase the size rapidly. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but first of all, first of all, I'm going to get some crew for it before it deteriorates. So, come on, come on, come on, come on, thank you. Uh, we are going to go back to that station, this equipment dock, lovely, lovely equipment dock. And we're going to pick up some crew, and we're going to throw it into the into the Zeus, and then we should be able to do things. Uh, y yeah, a bit, bit too fast there. I love the new thruster system, but uh, sometimes it's painful. Very, very painful. Right, okay, let's hire some crew members. Uh, y you know, just like, I don't know, eight. Eight should be the maximum that I should ever use in this ship. Uh, yeah, so if we fly back over to the Zeus. Noting that I'm probably going to fly past it because I'm moving at max speed again. Yeah, what we want to do is we want to transfer uh, these eight untrained crew members over. Um, and then, you know, we can assign them whilst in the Zeus, and that means that we don't have to, you know, deal with repairing the damn thing after we've finished. Um, transfer crew. Okay, that's four. My god, this is going to be annoying. It's because it's not that big, and therefore in order to dock with the dock, quote-unquote, um, we need to actually be closer. There we go. Four untrained crew members. And then we're going to move away. And then we're going to get out. Or rather, we're going to jump in. And then we'll uh, assign crew members. So, no, 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 not that one. Crew, yes, assign. We need mechanics in order to make sure that our ship doesn't deteriorate. Deteriorate, yes. And I can, you know, add crew members when I need to. We should be at full health. Yeah, right. Now let's go on to building. Let's get on to building. 
Uh, right, so what we want to do is scale step down to 2.5, create it down to 2.5. We also want mirroring on x axis. Good. Good. Feel your anger. Um, okay, so first of all, yeah, there's this new thing called a gyro array. A gyro array? Uh, it's got low durability, but it increases your rotation speed. You know, it's, it's like um, reaction wheels. Yeah, you, you've got your uh, RCS thrusters, and then you've got your reaction wheels. So, we're going to have some gyros. Uh, it's two gyro arrays, which should make this thing sprightly. And, you know, the, the faster it spins, the better. Because this is kind of a fighter. Um, and we're also going to need shield generators, but we'll deal with that in a second. Actually, we'll deal with that now. Uh, so let's go get shield generators. Yeah, so uh, Integra A Gen No Go to Trinium version shield generator. Yeah, so this should give us a decent amount of shield. Okay, quite the amount, uh, which should be enough to make sure that we don't die instantly. Yeah, we've now got nine hundred and thirty hit points because reasons apparently. I thought this would have more. I oh, know, it's because, you know, lying to me all the time. Uh, it's because, you know, doubling and yeah. But we've got 930 hit, uh, shield, so that's kind of fine for now. Uh, right, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, we'll need some integrity field generators. Now, what these actually do is it reduces well, it increases the amount of damage that blocks can take before they disappear, which is good because I don't want to have to replace these damn things. Um, but it doesn't increase the hit points. Yeah? Sounds simple enough? It isn't, but it does help. Uh, so we just need to increase that. Good. Right. Now, now that we've got that sorted, noting at the back here, you know, engines and stuff. May as well add those now. Uh, noting that most of the ship is going to, be, uh, going to be made out of trinium, because trinium is nice and cuddly. Uh, right, let's let's get ourselves a trinium generator. I'll, I'll only be using um, the nanite that I've got if uh, we run out of materials, or for example, on the hyperspace drive. Uh, so we've got this section here, and then we're going to do some fun stuff. So we want thruster section. Uh, we want you to go mirror x-axis. We want you to go up like that and up like that. Yeah, so this should give us quite a bit of breaking speed. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to add the armoring. So let's go get some armor. Make sure it rotates to the correct position. Right, so we want it in this kind of fashion. Uh, shrink it down to maximum, please. Uh, and then increase it to this. And then increase it to this. No, not that. No, not that. This. Right, so that's zero. Uh, that's uh, has, uh, zero point two five. So that's uh, two, three. Okay. So if we ever go three, then that should be good. Right. Okay. Uh, so I've got that, and then we want to have um, some kind of spike that we're going to place our. Um, our turrets on. So if we go here, shrink this down a bit. Down to there, and then increase the size. Uh, we're going to need, we're going to need another thruster block, so just temporarily place that there. Copy, paste, down, up a bit, or rather, delete this, we make it go up a bit more, possibly to there. Yeah. Then we copy and paste this. 
and then we can have that on the top. Except that this is not big enough. God damn it. Uh, yeah, so we just up it one more. There we go. And we've got larger thrusters. Excellent. Uh, and then you go here, you go here, and then we have a smaller one. Right? Yes. Okay, so we have it like this, yeah? Going for a kind of a tie interceptor look. Uh, so we have that. And then what we want is we want to rotate it. We want to increase the size upwards like this. And then increase like that. Okay, so these should shield us from the side. Which is kind of the point. Uh, so now that we have that, uh, let's get ourselves. No, we don't. We don't have any Zanians. So let's let, let's not scroll down too far. Uh, we want engines. We want engines. Thank you. Uh, so we want engines. We don't want them that ridiculous sized. Uh, let's so let's so, uh, that's zero point five. There, right. So this should put our maximum velocity up to 146, which is not that much, mind you. Um, but it is enough, and actually, I've got a better idea. We have a quad engine setup. Yeah, something like that. For aesthetics, pirates are attacking the sector. Whereabouts? There. Okay, well that's fine, I guess. Uh, right, so what we need to do now... Uh, we need to put some more crew members on the job. Uh, so we should be able to fly around with these, right? Noting that I only get up to a certain velocity because this ship is small. Hmm. Well, it does accelerate faster, I guess. Uh, right, what else can we add? Well, the, well these, these aren't needed. Okay, so we've got that. Um, we can probably actually, yeah, mm. instead of that, we go along to here and increase the size, place them in the corner. Yeah, something like that, no, 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 you've just done it badly. Uh, you know, it's gone up a bit too much, we want a square, thank you, that's a square. One there. One there. Okay. So we have that. That should pose up to 200, uh, 203. Uh, you, you know, you're dealing with... That frigate's dealing with, you know, pirates. That's fine. Um... Okay, so the only problem right now is uh, is breaking. Except breaking is fine, because this is a fighter. We can break quite a lot. So if we go full burst, okay, count count that this is zero, okay? I'm going to go full burst. And then see how long it takes for us to get out. Yeah, so about 1.5 kilometers is our breaking distance in this. Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, well, first of all, let me check something. Uh, let's go over to here. What's your maximum speed? Your maximum speed is 600, but we never reach that, really. Actually, no, we do on a constant basis. Um, but this is not meant to be fast. Well, it, it's meant to be, you know, maneuverable, not fast. There's a difference. Fast means I get somewhere quickly. Uh, maneuverable means I dodge bullets like Neo. Um... That's essentially, that's essentially what I'm looking for. Right, so, uh, now that we've dilly-dallied too much, uh, let's do something. So, what we want is, we want, uh, this is Trinium Edge Armour. Yes, it is. Uh, we want some corner pieces. Ah, we can place you here instantly. How nice. One. And then we place another one here. No, place it on this side, obviously. Uh, 
There we go, so that's that, and then we want to rotate around, except not that one. We want to rotate this one, go back to over to here, and then match the size of this. Okay, right, we're getting somewhere. Uh, right, and then we just need to get a get a edge armor, and then do that. Uh, get down to zero. I really wish that that wouldn't keep doing that. Flip over. Good. Right. Okay. So we've got that. And now I believe. Uh, so if we, you know, uh, since our ship is weak in comparison, um, what we should probably do is add our guns. So, we've got here, we've got a quad plasma turret, we've got a bolter turret, we've got a chain gun turret, and then we've got a triple chain gun turret. Now, the chain gun turret, um, he says, the uh, triple chain gun turret deals 4, has a fire rate of 5.9, and basically fires a lot. Whereas the regular chain gun turret is a bit more accurate, deals a bit more damage, has a higher fire rate, but there's not three of them, and it has independent targeting. That's useful. Uh, we've got a bolter, uh, which is basically fire the gun. Uh, it deals heavy damage to things it hits. So, okay, I've got an idea. So if we have, if we plant our two chain gun turrets there, for now, Yes, it's a for now thing. Uh, we should be able, well, first of all, we need to crew up. Uh, one, two, three, four. Um, you know, that that's kind of the spread that we're dealing with, okay? Yeah, that, that's kind of the spread that we're dealing with. It's kind of fine. But it's really, really inaccurate, so we're not going to do it. Um, it might just be that that's the only accurate thing I have. Uh, right, next up we have this, which is a quad plasma turret. Oh, that looks fun. It does, however, consume uh, capacitance, which is kind of fine, but maybe not. And then we've got a bolter. Um, you friend are not firing. Uh, right, let's have a look. So, yeah, let's uh, uh, click one, click two, um, disable one. What do you mean we don't have enough crew? Oh, and it's five? My god. Ooh, that recoil. Lovely. That's fun. Uh, yeah, we can definitely have that. Okay, so after realizing that we need more stuff, uh, we are going to go get uh, the Trinium crew quarters. These, This isn't a Trinium, by the way. This is a regular. Oh, no, it is a Trinium. Uh, forget what I said. Because we need more crew capacitance. And we can't find any. Uh, right, so increase that, increase that again. We need to fit as much crew capacitance in here as possible uh, so that we can actually get enough crew members to, uh, in order to fire all of this. Um, yeah, this, this is going to be a very, very compact design and it's not going to work later on, but it is going to work for the purposes of testing stuff. Stuff. My accent has suddenly changed. How wonderful. Um, yeah, back one. There. Okay. So, this should give us a crew size of 14, which means we should be able to get more crew members. Okay, let's go find the station.
You know, it might be a good idea to just boost everywhere. Um, because this ship is so small and everything. Right. Hire crew members. Actually, before I do that, let's check. So, we've got that. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna need... Oh, I've got, we've got regular chain gun throat to test as well. Yes, we do. Uh, goodbye plasma. And hello. Chain gun turret. Yes. Hang on, give me a second. You're on three. This looks fine. This is pretty good. Uh, and add you. Yeah. So okay. So here's the thing. Yeah, I'm testing things. So uh, just just wait. So bolter turrets deal a lot of damage to hull. You know that the health bar. Okay, that's good for when the shields are down. Plasma deals damage to shields that are not. Uh, okay, let's check. How many systems can we have? One. Well, I guess we're adding this, though. Um, yeah, so we can have four turrets-ish. I mean, I'd like it if we could have five. And I mean, what we can do... Uh, what's our braking velocity? Braking velocity is fine, so that's good. Um, what we could do is we can add a uh, Trinium computing core. And that would increase uh, the amount of system upgrade slots we can have at some point. But, you know, that, that would be later. Uh, or instead, we can have a hyperspace core, which would increase our sector radius. Yeah, sector radius. Uh, sec okay, so our sector reaches now 4.6, which is good. We don't have many, uh, we don't have much energy, so therefore we're going to add more reactor. Not enough energy, sir. Add more reactor. This thing is just going to become a mess of blue, okay? That's all that it can ever be. So one behind. Good, right. So now that we have that. What's our generator like? Okay, good. Right. The, this thing is an abomination, but that's how I like it. Uh, so, what, what we should now be able to do is add the others. So we want the... What, what, what do we want? We want the plasma turret. And then we want to get another turret that's not a triple chain gun. Um, so yeah, we can deal with that later. Uh, so, we need to add another one of you. I don't have any more crew members. Uh, yeah, let's get into dock. Get into dock, hire crew. Uh, let's hire... I don't know. Uh, actually, no, we'll hire two of you. Need more sergeants. I'll hire a sergeant then. That's a lieutenant. I don't want to hire a lieutenant. I want to hire a sergeant. Um, yes. And assign... Uh, assign to sergeant... That's lieutenant, isn't it? Yeah, it's lieutenant, sergeant, assign, and then I want to get the thing. Right. Good, and I can unassign one of you, and then assign an, uh, one of you to... What do we want? Engineering? Doesn't seem like something I want. Nah, you'll be a red shirt. You'll be the red shirt, in fact. Uh, right, so now that we have this, it's just a massacre of weapons now. Uh, okay, so what we have is we have two different types, uh, well, we have two different sets of guns. So these guys will be on one, uh, these got one, and it's on, on two, so we can engage, and we can fly around, and we can just hail them with tons and tons of munitions. Um, that's kind of that's kind of the gist of what we do these days. So, uh, is there and there should be a equipment dock? Do you have anything that I would be interested in? You have a double plasma. Yeah, it's useful against shields, but not that useful against anything 
actually important. Uh, and we already have a quadruple plasma, uh, so I would rather say no. Uh, we can, however, go to another sector. Noting that our jump range is smaller, but still big, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through the wormhole and see if we are capable. thing is, I might be outrun by absolutely anything. And also, if the shield goes down, then, you know, I'm screwed. Definitely. Totally. And utterly screwed. Um, but that's that's all part of the fun now, isn't it? Alternatively, I could change um, some of the blocks inside to more shields, but that's not necessary. Let's go. sector, jump to here, you have an equipment dock, no you don't, you have, no you don't, you have an equipment dock, yes you do, okay let's jump there. I move so slowly, so slowly. Okay, well, at least we know that uh, jumping doesn't kill us. Uh, right, let's head over to the equipment dock. You have... You have a trinium level chain gun turret. Hmm. You have a laser turret. Hmm. You have a cannon. Which deals significant amount of damage. Oh, that deals a significant amount of damage. Ooh, I like that. Um, that's pretty good. But the recoil is insane. The fire rate's not that deep. Well, the fire rate is actually pretty decent, and it over hurt. Uh, it overheats and deals bur and does burst fire. So let's check it out, because I want to see how effective this is. Right, uh, buy sell, I want the cannon, I want the laser, would the laser be useful? Uh, it's, it's got independent targeting which would be useful because I can't aim for anything. Um, it does deal damage, it's 100% accurate, it's got 2.7 kilometers range, it does chew up energy like no tomorrow. Um, yeah, sure, we'll give it, we'll give it a shot. I mean, I could buy up everything you've got in here, sir, but uh, I'm not going to because that's counterproductive. Uh, there's a thing that gives the thing, we don't care. Battery upgrade, don't care. I can't add any more, so wh why am I looking at these? Um, quantum wormhole, no. Let's see if we've already got a good one of those. No, right, you're all rubbish, let's leave. Okay, so what we can do is we can add. Okay, so we've got two things. We've got a laser. Uh, we've got two laser turrets, which we will replace the plasma turret with, because it, you know we we actually use lasers this time. Okay, so we have lasers. Let's see how quickly they heat up. Uh, two, two. Okay, disable one and fire. Doesn't seem like both of you are firing. Ah, maybe because I don't have enough crew members. Assign. Okay, we're eighty percent capacity. That's because I don't. That's because it's using three, not two. Okay, I need to keep that in mind next time. Come on, let's go. Yet, yeah, yet, yeah, don't overshoot, you maniac! Stop overshooting. This thing is so tiny. Uh, hire crew. I need more of you, higher thing, assign, assign. Right. How many crew can I have on this thing? Um, 14. Right. 
we can add one more crew member and then we can't add any more. So we can fire lasers. They go chirp energy quite significantly. Noting that the uh, more that they overheat, the more damage they deal. Interesting. Okay, so now that we've got that, I want to test out everything. So we've got regular guns, buh, 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 and we've got lasers. It's the death machine of death, of deathness. Right, let's go. At the slowest speed imaginable. Actually, let's have a look. I've got an idea. Let's delete these, yeah, and then have massive ones. Yeah, so what was I done to my max speed? Ah, oh, it's increased it by a bit. Lovely. Lovely. Love how that works. Bwah. That's the that's the sound that you've always got to make whenever, you know, something cool happens. You've got to do uh, the inception noise. My god, this thing goes slowly. I'll build a bigger version of you, I swear. Okay, we've arrived back in sector, um, and now I guess it's time to find some pirates. Um, that's the smuggler's hideout. That's that's fine, but no. Um, sadly, there's hardly anything within jump range. Um, it's probably you know nothing to do with me whatsoever. Uh, you don't have anything. You don't have anything. Because you're a scrapyard. Ooh, let's go to the scrapyard. Because technically they should deal quite a significant amount of damage to, uh, s well, salvageable ships, right? So we can test out on there. Anytime now. Thank you. I thought I remembered that there were some enemies in this sector. Uh, well, never mind. Let's head over to... I can't remember which sector was under attack. That's annoying. Uh, anyway, right, let's, let, let's test out some fun things, right? So, if we enable lasers, and we gain closer, and we stop moving so that you can test this properly, right? This is what the lasers should do. The amount of damage that they should be doing to hull is ridiculous. These are delicate weapons. And then we've got, uh, you know, these guys. Pew, 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 pew. Just choose up things. Yes, I believe the enemy won't stand a chance. Come on, people. There's got to be at least one area that has been under attack. Unknown energy signature. Let's check it out. Might as well. Uh, you're a trading post, right? Yes. Bulletin board? Scrap. No, thank you. Jump, jump, thank you. Ah, aliens! Aliens. Aliens. Hi fellas, would you like to come after me? Well, first of all, I want system security to be there just in case I decide to, uh, you know, book it. Um, yeah. Right. Actually, I also need to test how quickly this thing will die. Um, so that's going to be fun. Uh, let's just double check. Yeah. So, my shield is significantly higher than my hull. Okay, right. 
system security are you going to at attack these guys, or is it the same system that basically screws over everything? Uh, you're a cargo hauler, that's probably not going to be good. Hi fellas, how are you today? Alright, I'm guessing. Right, let's uh, let's buzz them. Evasive maneuvers. Oh, they're not firing. Oh, they are dealing damage. Not that much. Fly them up. Oh, uh, let's let, let's stop with the laser show. Lasers. See? A fighter. This is what we are. Boom, baby! Ah, we've got another ugly customer here. Yes, I am aware my shields are getting low. Trust me. This uh, this thing favors hit and run attacks. Where is he? Or did he just die? Uh, yeah, I think he's dead. Frigga gone. Excellent. Hey, great! No, no, he's not dead. He's over there. Right. Let's uh, wait for my shield to recharge. What's my regen rate of my shield? Uh, is that a thing? Regen rate. Now, currently, what's the energy consumption? My shields. Well, we could get an upgrade to my shield if I was bigger. I need to be, like, larger in order to do that. I mean, what we could do is we could copy and paste this and make it, I don't know, two times larger, if we want to. Yeah, hi, fella. You're dead. Deal with it. Ooh, it's a blue module. Those are nice. What do we get? We got a scanner upgrade that nearly doubles our range. How lovely. Um, nice. Sh should I have gained, you know, recognition for helping you guys? No? Alright then, you can... You can go away. Uh, what, what weapon did we get? I think it was... Oh, we got... No, that we, we already had the double cannon. Uh, salvaging, salvaging. I think it was another salvaging gun. Oh, no, we got a double force gun. Ooh. What does it do? Pull? Self-pull. Hmm. We'll have to test that out. Because I think I could fire it on my own ship and use it as an accelerator. Um, or other ships and use it as an accelerator. Right. Okay. So that, that's been fun. Uh, I'm going to go around and test this out a bit more. And we shall continue hunting pirates in the next episode. Until then, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission.